Okay, number eight, we also want to find the zero. Okay, so just make a note. Uh, whenever they say zero, they might say x-intercept. They might say root. They might say solution. Okay, all of these are referring to the same thing. So we're trying to find out if we were to graph this, where would it, the graph be crossing the x-axis? Okay, those are the zeros, x-intercepts, roots, or solutions. Um, so you got several names that we refer to when solving something like this. So we have f of x is equal to 2 over 3x minus 8. And again, we're going to let y equal 0 or that is the same thing as saying f of x equals zero. So this whole thing right here is going to be zero. Zero equals um, two over three x minus eight. Now, one thing you can do right from the beginning is get rid of the fraction. I didn't do this while ago, but I'm going to do it this time just to show you some variability when solving the problem. Um, I'm going to multiply by 3 because I see division by 3. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3. And I'm going to multiply this side by 3. Both sides are the equal sign. Whatever you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. So 3 times 0 is still going to be 0. And then over here, when you multiply by 3, you have to distribute. You, you do it to both terms. When you multiply 3 times this fraction, it cancels out the division. And that leaves you with 2x. When you multiply 3 times the negative 8, that will give you a negative 24. All right, from here, we're going to add 24 to both sides. And this time, I move the 24 because I like to leave my x positive. Um, so I move the, the number instead of x this time. All right, and then that leaves me with 24. That cancels equals 2x. And then divide by 2. And we get that 12 is equal to x. So this will be my 0 this time. x equals 12. All right, number 9. <clears throat> it says use the given graph to find each of the following. A, we're going to find the 0 of the function. So again, same, same thing that we're doing here. Okay. 0. And then part B says we're going to find the x-intercept. So it's the same thing. They're asking you to find the same thing twice. So if you look at this graph, you can see where it is crossing. Um, this is 0. 1, 2, 3. Looks like it's crossing at 4. So the 0 is x equals 4. All right, x-intercept, you're just going to type it as an ordered pair, okay? So whenever you type the x-intercept, remember uh, you type in the ordered pair x-coordinate first and then y. Well, the y value is 0, and we just found out that the x was 4. So we want the ordered pair 4, 0. 4, comma, 0.